I'm here with Carl Heinrichs from ESCO Process and Recycling. They take our tech and recycle it in a green way. They have a zero landfill policy. According to the EPA, the national recycling rate of electronics is only 35% in total each year. And e-waste altogether tosses shows that we toss about 20 to 50 million metric tons of e-waste into landfills each year. Um, how do you stop that from making it to the landfill? Well, at ESCO Processing Recycling, we'll take a CRT like this one here and we'll demanufacture it by hand and we'll break this unit down to its lowest possible commodity. We have copper wire here, uh, we have plastic. We'll sort all that as we're taking it apart. We'll put the plastic in a clean plastic stream. Uh, we'll take the copper off of the uh, boards, off of the yolks, off of the degaussing coil. Uh, all the plastic will go in one bin, all the copper in another. The circuit boards will go in a bin by itself. And then we have the bad part of the, the unit, and it's the glass. The glass contains lead, it can contain beryllium, uh, it has phosphorus in it. We don't break the glass at our facility. We actually take that glass and we send that glass to a smelter that smelts oh, yeah. out the glass and, and sorts the uh, lead, the glass, uh, you know, for, through the smelting process. So that stuff comes out real clean. Uh, every vendor that we send our product to is vetted by ESCO. Uh, we actually visit every site that we send product to. That product, uh, or those, those customers that we send our product to are, uh, you know, certified. Um, we make sure that they do everything in, in accordance to EPA and uh, federal law. So every, everybody we use is, is clean. No landfill, you know, no China. Everything is, you know, happening here in the United States. And this product is turned into something good, you know. Who knows, this could be a dog bowl tomorrow. Very so, cool. Very so. That was a nice XP, XPS uh, Delta this morning, too. Yeah, they look at it. The first thing we do is they ask the customer if the product is functional. You know, it, if they say it's functional, then we'll take it and we'll... Hopefully. We'll wipe the hard drive. First and foremost, we inspect it and then we wipe the hard drive. We make sure the product's clean from any kind of data. Then we'll remarket it, and we don't reinstall any OS on any units. Right. We sell it right. you know, pretty much vanilla, uh, vanilla with no OS on it. Um, you know, hopefully we can get a lot of like units. You know, it makes it a lot easier to sell 20 or 40 oh, yeah. or 100 XPSs oh, yeah. versus selling one. Um, you know, we've been pondering uh, opening up a, a storefront for used electronics. You know, stuff that we can refurbish and reload and do whatever. You know, but that's something that we're looking. You know, way in the future. That's not something that's going to happen right away. And first, we got to find out that the market will be able to sustain, you know, purchasing right. used electronics. Yeah. Well, he, he's been wanting to open a hacker space forever. So it doesn't have matter if it, 90% of it works as long as you can pull the motors out of it or the yeah. slider bar or whatever. So. Yeah, there's all kinds of stuff that's going in there, like that printer right there. That's got some nice steppers in it. Yeah. So that HP? Uh, that 4100? Yeah. yeah. That's these, a good printer. These big, uh, um, TVs, they've got a, like great. Yeah, that projection screen. No lens in them. Oh man. Yeah, we just we'll take and break that down. We'll take all the you know. And that's where it gets sad. Commodities and all the good <laughs> stuff off of there, and then we send the glass straight to a smelter. Yeah. Uh, and you know, and we vet every downstream that we you know use to make sure that those downstreams are processing the product in according to EPA regulation, state, federal law. Cool. You know, so we're making sure it's done right. Versus just, you know, the guy that ships it some overseas guy sends and it says, to China they, and says yeah. he's doing it right. I we don't do that. that. We make sure where we're sending product, it's going to the right venue and being processed in a very e friendly manner. Down, uh, all the circuit boards, um, you know, any of the you know larger commodities that uh, are going to be shredded, they'll go to one of our secondary facilities and they will shred it. To, to glean out more of the commodities. Uh, circuit boards will have steel, they'll have aluminum, have, they'll have copper on it, you know, but, you know, if there's transformers on it, and when it beats it up in the shredder, it liberates that from the circuit board. That stuff will get pulled out, and then it's separated that way. And then the circuit board will get uh, pulverized to a point where they send it to a smelter, and then they burn it down. It doesn't work, it's baked. We'll see you. Know, the bad thing is a lot of these people leave these in their crawl spaces or barns. And, and they get you know water damage. Oh yeah. So they're 
pretty much non-functional. Yeah. Out of everything we take in, you know, we're lucky if we get about two to three percent of functional units really? that we could actually refurbish, you know, wipe the data and redeploy. You know, there's really not a lot of good electronics left. Is you that know, the case with the old stuff too? Yeah, pretty much the old stuff's barbecued, it's done. Um, we, we would love to get a lot better, you know, product. Like from the corporate sector, you know, we get corporate customers that allow us to, uh, you know, wipe the data, refurbish it, and remarket it, and then we share the revenue off of it. That's a pretty good revenue stream for us, you know, as long as the units are fairly current. Right. You know, anything, you know, even Pentium 4s now are getting to a point where people don't want a Pentium 4. You know, they want, uh, you know, dual cores and quad cores and all that really cool stuff. So we don't get a lot of uh, real high-end stuff. What is the strangest thing you've ever seen come through? It's still, you know, it's, it's the classic whatever or one-off thing. That What's the strangest electronics or maybe the most fantastic, you know, you just wanted to put that in a museum type thing and well we've gotten in uh, some crazy stuff we've gotten in uh, first generation polygraphs that were probably as big wow. as your car uh, oh. you know, hooking up you know that unit to your body kind of freaked me out a little bit you know it probably took more power than uh, you know my microwave so I wasn't wow. too happy about uh, plugging that onto my skin <laughs> but uh, it was pretty wild as it was large um, we get really crazy stuff you know we'll get uh, ultrasounds we can take x-ray equipment uh, we'll get you know that kind of product is a little weird uh, we'll get uh, you know blood scanners blood pumps IV pumps you know that's that's just you know some of the weirder stuff but you know You've got people that are, you know, building stuff in their houses and you don't know what it is, so we gotta be real careful what we take. One thing we don't like taking is stuff that uh, contains fluids, um, you know, freons, oils, because you really don't know what you're getting in some of that product, so we're real careful about taking that stuff. Uh, but outside of that, we'll take anything that has a cord or plugs in or runs on batteries. If it's electronic, we'll handle it, we'll process it in a 100% green fashion zero landfill for electronics and it all happens the right way that is cool so um sky had a question how much of this can he take home today well he could take home a lot of it but most of it ain't gonna work we find that <laughs> the product that comes off of uh these take back programs most of it's been sitting a long time you know we'll ask the customer if the product works you know if it seems like you know it's a newer pentium 4 or a good laptop you know, we'll ask the customer first and foremost does this product work most of the time they say it's dead. At that point, we're just gonna put it in a bin and recycle it. The stuff where we get back from the customer, the customer says, yeah, you know, it does work, I'm just upgrading. We're gonna try to set that aside. We're gonna take and bring that product to our lab. We're gonna wipe the hard drive, uh, doing a DOT wipe. We're gonna make sure that there's 100% zero data, no data on the hard drive. And then we're gonna refurbish that unit and we're gonna try to remarket it uh, as a used product. But a lot of this stuff, um, you know, not many people taking rear projection TVs anymore, unfortunately. Yeah, yeah. You know, so Half we're going to take that product down. <laughs> yeah, you could take one of those rear projections and probably stack up about 10 of them in the same amount of space with the newer LCDs. <laughs> right on, man, I'll tell you. Yeah, so I'll, I, I thank you. and uh, <laughs> well, a pleasure. Uh, well, we're very glad for what you do. It's a very cool process. The um, electronics definitely need to stay out of there. And uh, if you want to watch more of the interview, Check us out at uh, greentechnow.com and our YouTube channel. And thank you. Check out our website on escoprocessingandrecycling.com. We actually have a video on there that goes through what we do, and it's it's uh, pretty awesome. We oh, cool. appreciate you guys. Thank Very cool. You much. Thank you. You have All a good right. day. Thank you, Carlos. All right. Thank you. Say, I'm gonna get you cans. I'm gonna get you cans. Uh, I hate litter. I hate litter. Recycle, don't litter. Recycle. Dang it. Wrong. So, I'll get this light over here. Oh, you guys are still here? So, we need show sponsors. Hit us up in the notes or the link on our website if you wanna be our sponsor. Thanks. See you around. We take 